gentlemen, the first of whom is Mr. Leah Kim Samaj. Now, Leah Kim is known by everybody, and I don't need to say much about him. He's a son of the soil and somebody who is making an impact in Jamaica in a positive way. I believe he's also well able to speak to how Dr. Tony Crew has impacted his life as a presenter on radio and as a Jamaican man who loves the music. Please put your hands together and welcome Nathan Smart. Thank you very much. The, this is actually the second celebration of the victory of Dub Tonic. Even though you may think it's the first. Uh, well, science. Uh, again. Again. The first one took place about two weeks before they left for Malaysia. Now, I have a, my, my thing, when I see something, I call it as I see it, right? Coming out of the national contest. There was no competition. All the judges said the same thing said in Malaysia. It was clear cut. Just in terms of the, the power of what that band did. In te they were almost disqualified. When the worst get about it gets started, the, the key, Luke had a bad lead. And when they changed the lead, I had a bad lead again. And the stage manager said, no, 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 come on, come on. Come. I said, no, it's not for them, Paul. All right, blew away. On the announcement of the winner, um, Juba sneered at bus from before, and the, the stone couldn't get the bass plug in. Now, almost as planned, Luke and Jalan just start playing. Almost as they saw the sambo, and just gradually mix in, and then when the snare gets fixed, and the drummer come in, and then the bass come in, almost like it saw the sound mix. So it was clear to me, said so them win already. <laughs> Now, to show so well and well that I wasn't going, I decided to keep the victory show two weeks before them leave. All right, I would plan the show around it. I had what I consider as one of the best critical talent in Jamaica. Uh, I had Clyde McKenzie in the studio. I had Ibo Cooper, I had Mikey Benick. I invited Gussie Clark and I invited Bambino as one of the bright young on ear persons who have a broad range of music. And I decided to look, ask them, would you, you want to play the music or you want to play live? And the man said, yeah, they want to play live. So I, I tell RJR, I said, we want the big studio for the night. And then I indicate to TVJ that, listen, this is a historic performance because this is the winning band from the, the World Festival. Yeah? So I'd like at least one camera to document it. All right? So we bowl. Now, the... Five o'clock in the evening, show is from eight to ten on uh, Thursday night. I was called by TJ and he said, "Listen, Doc, I won't carry you one better. I want you a three camera. I will go and stream the show live on RE TV. The first way to do something like that. All right? So the, we celebrate already. <laughs> now we ask the question tonight: What defines good Jamaican music? And Ibo said, "You start with the catalog of Bob Marley." And you specify you start with catch a fire. And I just cue the engineer and said, and you start with concrete jungle. Okay, I didn't pick out that. We walk with two CD tonight. Because I feel concrete jungle is the best epitome of what the music, right? I must say, run it. All right? And then we, we, we had the band play and then we talked from different perspectives and we gave them critiques and so on. And for me, the most powerful critique, people understand that before Third World took on the world, you know, they worked for one year with Freddie Hicklin to work out their differences and how the energies would come across on the stage. And Ibo said that, listen, him wants to see Jalanza step forward huh? and him wants to see Stone come forward as a two-pronged attack. And him want a rise and him wants to juba and a rise because with that kind of energy feel, that kind of, you know, and you're going, you're projecting Jamaica. You are Jamaica's representative. So all that was done. And for the final set, I tell him I want a 20 minute set. I want everybody now to show their virtuosity. Because too much things in music now in Jamaica will mix out, will mix out the lead guitar. Nobody shows any kind of virtuosity. So, so we had the victory show already. All right, so I tell you that. 
<laughs> because we saw it and so we did it. Now, let me show you why you don't understand some things are bigger than we. Just take the word dub. You understand what dub is. It's a genre of music which comes from the very root of our music where you take the B side of the vinyl and then now you improvise around that. But you realize that most dub music was created in the studio. Mm -hmm. It's not a live thing. So it's a whole different thing. You going now create dub music live. So it was taken the B side. Now, you take the other part of the name tonic. What is tonic? Tonic is a medication that restores or increases the body strength and tone. An invigorating, refreshing, and restorative agent. You understand that? All right, just understand, watch me. No, I just checked with your answer while ago. Crew. No, is that, is that a way of, is that your way of spelling the word crew? And I say yes, because what crew is about is a group of people working together, all persons operating or serving on board a ship or an aircraft in flight. All right? But guess what? The word KRU have an original meaning, you know? KRU, crew is a group of Niger Congo languages spoken primarily by people in Liberia mm -hmm. and Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast. It's a group of African languages, it's a communication style. Mm -hmm. Crew, all right? So understand that there's some things working up bigger than all of us. Now, the final piece, my third daughter, her dissertation should be finished this year in Caribbean literature. And the title of it is, On the B-Side, A Dub Approach to Defining Caribbean Identity in the Contemporary Diaspora. And what she has done, she has taken the B-Side. She said, the same way you take the B-Side of the music and create a whole nother music. When a Caribbean person goes abroad, it's the B-Side of their identity. A whole new identity is created on. So you understand that? How music is now transformed to literature. Where you're seeing how Caribbean identity, and it comes back around. Because say, what happens? She says, in our dissertation, I argue that a Caribbean culture and literary identity is forged in this dub manner of erasures and repairs, reinvention and recreation. So, what we're now witnessing, people, and what I am personally experiencing is the next chapter in the history of Jamaican music. Where it's not by taking from others and this and that, it's by taking from what we have already created. Because we created the own music that has colonized the world. And we reinvent it and recreate it and redefine it and literally go out and blow away the world. So I want you to just understand that this here is historic. You may take it lightly, but I, I don't think there's any, his, any happenstance or chance about this. So the whole dub tonic crew is just taking and remixing that which is authentically ours and recreating and reinventing ourselves as the center of the universe to just smash down Babylon one more time. <laughs> And certainly we have the weapons to do that. <laughs> Shut down Babylon. One more, One time. more time. You know, my, my